guys welcome back to my channel if you guys new here on my channel my name is Allison and welcome to my channel so in today's video we'll be testing out a Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation so we're gonna have a first impression and how it wore during the day this foundation has a really sleek bottle and it has the frosty finish on the bottle which I really like about on the foundation bottle and on the cap it has a little burgundy pattern when you open it it comes with a pump so which comes in really handy as well here i'm gonna pull out the sephora website what it claims the foundation to be it says the coverage is full to medium coverage which is what i'm all about and it's suit for all skin types sensitive normal dry combination and oily skin and the finish is matte finish it also claims that this foundation will be sealed on your skin for 15 hours long and it's gonna be comfortable wearing this transfer sweat humidity and water resistance so that's what we're looking for in the summertime hot weather so this foundation is also gonna give you a weightless texture looks and they fit like a second skin for those of you who are new to my channel my skin type is oily skin so let's get to the price range this foundation it retails for $48 and it comes with a one fluent ounce which is what normal foundation bottle comes with like about this foundation it comes in 20 different shades so from fair skin people to medium to dark skin you might be able to find your shades now let's get to the wear test and first impression on this foundation so to test this foundation out i'll be using one side with damp beauty blender and one side with my artist brush to see how the coverage looks like on my skin for primer as usual i'll be using two different primer i'll be using my makeup forever set one smoothing primer on the center of my face to eliminate my pores and the rest of my face i'll be using my dior skin forever on the rest of my face to sew my foundation here i'm gonna zoom you guys in a little to see how it blends on my skin and how it cover my blemishes my face now only have my brows on i don't have my concealer or anything On this side of my face, I can tell that it gives me a more coverage on the foundation and for some reason it looks more matte than when I'm using my damp beauty blender. The high point of my cheek, you guys can tell it looks a little bit matte here but then here it still gives you a dewy look. Now I think this foundation shade, it looks a little off than my skin tone. It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone. So we'll see what it oxidized later on. I think I'm just gonna go in a little bit more on both sides of my face. Yeah, so I already built up the second layer of foundation on my face and I feel like the finish is pretty matte but then I feel like it kind of dries up my skin I don't know is it just me or the foundation it has to take time to set it on my face I think I prefer with a damp beauty blender to apply this foundation because it looks a lot more natural it still gives you like a sheen underneath your skin if you guys have textured skin like I do on my chin area I have a couple blemishes and other different kind of nasty stuff and I feel like it kind of set on top it doesn't kind of smooth in with my skin now I'm gonna put my all-time favorite Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to see how it sit on top on the foundation Concealer sit very nice on top of this foundation so I don't have any problem still look very nice as usual I'm gonna set my under eye and the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier setting powder this is what I typically do with my foundation routine I 
make sure I set a baby baking underneath my eye because I tend to crease on my eye. Because I don't have a brush to set all over my face, I'm just gonna use my damp beauty blender to kind of pat it on my skin. Now the time is 2.34 p.m. I'm gonna check back with you guys after I'm done with my full face makeup and I'll see you guys later. Yeah, so I'm back with my full face of makeup. I go with a more natural everyday makeup look and right now it's the time of 2.52. Now this is how the foundation looks like on my skin. I feel like after I have my full face of makeup on, I feel like the color of the foundation, it kind of matches up my skin tone. I don't know, is it oxidizing? or the bronzer that I put it on. Now my first impression on this foundation, it I'm just okay with the foundation because it kind of enlarged my pores area even though I have a smoothing primer on. And on my chin area, it has texture on my chin and it kind of sit on top of the texture area. It doesn't blend very well even though I said it. If you see me in the distance, I do like the foundation how it looks like right now. I'll check back with you guys in the middle of the day and also the end of the day to see how this foundation sit on my skin and how they hold up on my skin and also my refill at the end of the day and I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, so I'm just gonna do a quick check-in right now. It's 7.13 so I've wear this foundation for about four hours and during these four hours I went to take a quick nap for 30 minutes and also I went out and about I do some errands and then I have some milk tea I'm just being out for three hours now the weather in here currently is 86 degree which is really really hot and now the foundation is kind of more like a satin finish because my natural oil kind of mixed into the foundation so here's a little close up you guys may have thought it looks oily but I don't feel super oily right now but I feel like this is more like a natural glow for me this is how my usual foundation looks like with a full coverage matte finish foundation so it kind of oxidized a little because it matched my skin tone right now compared to when I applied it on my face yeah so this is the last check-in right now the time is 11 16 p.m. and I've been wearing this foundation for almost eight hours and right now with the lighting I'm looking very oily Right now, I feel like I want to take off this makeup right away because I don't like the way it looks. If I zoom you guys in, you guys will know what I'm talking about, but then I might scare you a little on my face because it just look horrible on my face. As I said earlier, my foundation, it kind of creased around my nose area of both sides of my nose. And also, it kind of wear off the tip of my nose. Yeah, I think because my nose get pretty oily during the day chin area this is the most disgusting part that I hate on this foundation because it kind of separate on my texture and my skin so I don't like how it feels on my skin it feels like I have foundation on my skin and usually with some of my favorite full coverage foundation I don't have that issues and my highlight is still on fleek my blush my contour is still on so now I'm gonna blot my face and see how it looks. After blotting, you guys can tell that my face is a lot more matte. But then on the blotting sheet, that it has a lot of foundation coming off on my face. Unfortunately, this foundation doesn't work on my skin. I don't know if it's just for me or oily skin people. But then I feel like this foundation, it just really doesn't sit on my skin very well and it kind of separate and it kind of shows more on the texture of skin. It claims to be 15 hours wear and I only wear it for 8 hours and I already want to take this makeup off. I feel like this foundation kind of oxidized a little so just be aware on that. Unfortunately, I have to say that I have to return this foundation because I don't like the finish on my face. It just doesn't work for me on my oily skin and my texture skin. So I have to go back to Sephora and return this foundation. That's it guys. That's all my review and first impression on this Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. And if you guys like to watch more of this kind of video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe down below to see more of my video updates. And I'll see you guys until next time. Bye!